Hello, and welcome to Replicated Tips and Tricks. My name is Fernando Kramer. I am an engineer here at Replicated. And in this set of videos, we're going to cover various tips and tricks that we have learned from our customers working in the field. Now, before we get further, uh, we need to make sure that you have the right environment locally to, to follow along and, and run your own tests and, and try things out. So in this video, I'm going to cover the basics on how to get started with Replicated. So after completing this video, we'll have an account created in Replicated, and in this account, we'll have our application defined. We'll also set up our local development environment, and we'll have a release ready for deployment. If you want to follow along, make sure you have a GitHub account and also a local environment where you can install the Replicated CLI and clone the repository. So to get started, head over to vendor.replicated.com. This is what we call our vendor portal. And to sign up, click on the Create a New Team link. Once you do that, you can sign up. In my case here, I'm going to stick to the tips and tricks theme. So I will use that as my last name, company name, and then I will add that to my email so it doesn't clutter my inbox. I can keep track of it. Lastly, I'll set up my password, and I'll make sure to enter this exact same password below. And then I'll check the Agree to Replicators replicate its terms of service. And notice there's a link if you'd like to read on. Lastly, um, the last step is you're going to be sent an activation code to your email. You can click on the button directly, or you can take this code and put it over back on the form, which is what I'm going to do. I'll click on activate, and now I am ready to go. The next step now is to create or define our first application. The name can be whatever you'd like. I'm going to use tips and tricks and click on create application. The landing page, if you will, of the vendor portal is the channels. And channels is what allows you to manage which releases of your applications are available to who. So think of a release only for internal testing versus a release that you want your customers to, to have. So that's what channels allow you to do. So now what I'd like to do is set up our development environment. And we'll be going to the settings screen here because we'll be needing our application slug, which is tips and tricks. And then we'll need to create our API token. In this case, I'll call it training. And then I'm going to put it right and right. We'll click on create token. And this is something I'll put in my clipboard. So in order to set up our local development environment, we're going to use this template GitHub repository. I've put the address on the screen here. And this GitHub repository is a great starter repository. It includes instructions on how to install the, install the replicated CLI. And it gives you the, the basic files that you need to, to get started with your first release. So we're going to click on use this as template. And we're going to give it a meaningful name, tips and tricks, which is available, thank God. <laughs> and now we're going to uh, we'll leave it public so you guys are able to, to check it out. And yeah, we'll click on Create Repository. Once our repository is created, we can now go back to our local environment. So I like to use Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever uh, interface you like to use to interact with, with Git. So here I'm going to clone my repository provide the URL from my own repository, of course. And I'm going to open our new local repository, which has now our files for our, our re replicated application. So now to set up our, our CLI, so the command line interface, which is described in the readme in the repository, I'm going to switch over now to my terminal. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to define my environment variables, which are defined in that uh, readme. But first, let's install uh, the replicated CLI. Uh, let's skip over all the homebrew updates and stuff so you guys don't get bored. Um, once it's installed, though, you should be able to run replicated space version. And that will work as long as the installation is complete and successful, which it is in this case. So now, in order to now connect this replicated CLI to the vendor portal account, we'll need to set up a couple of uh, environment variables. So the replicated app environment variable is from uh, that application slug that we discussed earlier. And the replicated API token is that uh, API token we copied from the vendor portal. 
So once you have both of those environment variables set up, uh, you can list your releases, which in this case we haven't done that yet, so that's why we just get the columns. But we're ready to go. So now if I want to create a release with whatever YAMLs are provided by default in this repository, I just got to make sure you're in the directory with the manifest directories are. So now you can do replicated release create dash dash auto, which by default looks at a manifest directory in the same location and we'll promote it to the unstable channel. So as you can see here, uh, it looks at the directory for YAML, the channel that it's going to use, the version, and create our first sequence. So if I go back to the vendor portal and click on release and we do a look there, we'll see that we have our first sequence in the unstable channel. And here, if we click on view YAML, we can see the various files that were taken from our local manifest directory and uploaded into the vendor portal. So in summary, we were able to create our account in Replicated. We created an application in that account and we set up our local development environment. And we also created our first release. We covered a lot today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this information helpful. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos which will help us take further into Replicated. So long.